ओके हाय गाइस सो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट फाइनल टेस्ट टू क्वांट इन लास्ट 15 डेज ओके सो व्हाट यू शुड डू बेस्ट इन दिस लास्ट 15 डेज टू टू डू वेल इन क्वांट राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रेटजी ओके हाउ शुड यू हाउ यू शुड अटेम्प्ट दीस पेपर्स राइट नाउ बिकॉज़ बेसिकली इट नॉट अनलाइक मींस लाइक कैट 2018 और 19 दे आर नॉट 34 क्वेश्चंस नाउ राइट सो पेपर हैज रिड्यूस्ड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली expected is around 20 to some around 24 questions will be in cat okay and time is 40 minutes right so the best strategy for this kind of exam with the paper is short okay and and you basically don't have much time to again come back to the questions okay so the best strategy in this kind is divide the paper into four slots okay so divide the paper into four slots of 10 10 minutes each okay just try to keep like this right so divide the paper into four slots like try to put like this here 10 minutes okay roughly 10 minutes 10 minutes and 10 minutes right so now in this 10 minutes uh, 10 minutes like uh, kind of situation what i'll be doing is i'll be picking some let's say if i got 24 questions here so i'll be putting some six questions here okay so let's say i i pick six questions in every 10 minutes right if I pick six questions in every 10 minute and divide like each each 10 minute during two rounds, round one and round two. So each 10 minutes should go like this, round one and round two, round one and round two like that, right? For every 10 minutes. Basically, uh, for example, always try, start with the easier ones, right? Obviously, you know? So let's say for example, you just open the quant paper in, uh, in the exam. Uh, let the first question is a big question of geometry. So you can just skip it, right? Uh, don't want to solve initially. Second question, is a five line question of arithmetic. I don't want to solve it. Okay, I'm starting. Third question looks single line question of numbers. Okay, this concept I know. Let's solve it. Maybe fourth question again looks like a big question of arithmetic. Leave it. Fifth question look, looks like a complex question of algebra. Leave it. Okay. Sixth question looks like okay. This this question can be done. It's simple question of algebra. Okay. This, this I have studied. Familiar concept. Solve it. So maybe what you have done is maybe in, in the first four or five minutes. So in the first four or five minutes you have solved some two questions here. Okay. So again, you have got some other time. You got another five minutes to solve the questions. Now come back to stronger area. Maybe you have, maybe the fourth uh, fourth question was of arithmetic was lengthy one, but you feel that okay, arithmetic I can do it. A uh, profit and loss. It was looking like profit and loss question. Right. Let's come back to arithmetic. Right. And let's say you come back and solve some two more questions in the next five minutes. Right. Okay. So in next five minutes, you again solve some two more questions. Okay. So basically, what we want to want to say is in ten minutes. Uh, it, it can never be exactly 10 minutes, right? We're not robots, no? So 10 minutes plus take a buffer of plus minus 2 minutes actually. Not more than that, okay? Not more than that. Don't spend more than 12 minutes in a 6 question slot, right? And don't spend less than 7-8 minutes also. Because you're not going to come back to these questions. This is the problem of a 40 minute examination, right? In a 60 minute examination, I can have I can have uh, one or two comebacks with the uh, previous questions, right? In 40 minute question, you don't take up, you don't get time for comeback which is very very important right you don't get time for comeback okay you can't come back for the questions okay so that's why this this kind of strategy works well in this shorter examination there are 40 minutes examination 20 24 questions right uh time will go run obviously time will run very fast huh? and this is a kind of a strategy we should follow divide 10 minutes uh slot of four question right so maybe in the first 12 minutes you have some have solved some four questions then move then same thing repeat in the next 10 minutes okay then same thing repeat in the 10 next 10 minutes and then same thing repeat in the next 10 minutes right okay so and back yourself so that if there are 24 questions in the paper okay so if you solve even if you solve as per my expectation if you solve the paper the, the difficulty level will not be easier than 2020 right that's for sure so as per my expectation even if you solve three questions per slot okay in those 12 minutes so what, what will happen is the first thing with this strategy is you are going to uh, not going to uh, miss out any questions right it's, it bothers over that after you come back up come back from the examination yeah last two questions they can shoot here yeah 18 that he punched the 24th technique punch by right so those things will not happen this kind of strategy ensures that you reach till the last question okay uh, and with the proper planning correct what is the problem with random attending of paper? The random attempting, the random attempting will start from question one, then question two, then question three, right? What happens? No, even if the paper, even if the paper is going very smoothly, but in this kind of short examinations, once you read at some question number, suppose you read at question number 13, the paper is going very smoothly, 
आउट ऑफ थर्टीन क्वेश्चन यू सॉल्व सम एट नाइन क्वेश्चन फीलिंग गुड बट शिट वॉट हैपन्स नहीं यूसी अरे यार थर्टीन क्वेश्चन हो गया एंड नाउ थर्टी मिनट्स इज गॉन ओनली टेन मिनट्स इज लेफ्ट एंड इन टेन मिनट्स आई टू लुक आउट दैट टेन क्वेश्चन नाउ इट नो यू Even if you have solved eight, nine question, you are feeling good. You should get panic now. Okay, then in, if you turn to fourteenth question, I can solve this. But maybe fifteenth is an easier one. Let's say fifteenth one. Actually, fifteenth uh, it should look tough one. In sixteenth it looks lengthy. Seventeenth I can solve it. But what about question number twenty-four? So so many things running in the mind, right? So that's why what happened? You mess up the paper actually. So that's why never attempt paper randomly. Attempt like this. This is the best strategy you can. Use in the examinations, right? Ten, ten in the short examinations, like the thirty, forty minutes paper. Me, it's a best strategy. That okay? This strategy, strategy, I, I won't suggest in a sixty minute paper. No, okay. There we used to do in round one, round two. If you remember, two years back, I told you, uh, if somebody would be preparing from last two years, I told you different strategy, right? For sixty minute paper, but forty minute paper, this is a best strategy, right? Okay. So just try to even if you solve some, so I was telling you that even out of twenty four question, you solve some three questions each, okay? So in twelfth question, if you solve correctly in thirty six marks, back yourself to get some more than ninety five percentage. You will get it right. Okay. So basically, in any in exams like this, in twelve questions, in thirteen question, fourteen questions, in fifteen questions, right? So in around fifteen question, you should touch ninety nine plus roughly, obviously roughly, right? Okay. So the rough data. So basically, first of all, you need to ensure that even if on on a bad day. Right, maybe that suppose one the questions are not clicking, you're not feeling, you're not feeling that confident, right? Still, you don't have to get out. It's like a cricket match, right? When the ball is swinging at first, right? You don't play a bad shot and get out. Just wait for it. Wait for it. The good time will come, है ना? And we've seen a lot of this in cricket matches, right? Same way here. Even if the one paper is not running to running running so well, maybe quant, maybe LRDI, try to get at least ninety. Try to secure just cool yourself down. And first aim is to get ninety plus, because that will even a ninety ninety. Suppose for example, uh, what will happen is in you are looking like this. For example, if you are looking like this, uh, in quant in quant, let's say you get ninety four, ah, uh, ninety two ninety two percentile. In LRDI, let's say you get ninety nine percentile. In verbal, you get somewhere around let's say ninety eight percentile. So still overall, you are around around ninety nine overall. Okay. So that's why, and the calls again, the all you get almost all the calls, right? So, but the moment this this thing doesn't happen, the moment you get out in one paper, for example, you if for the moment you get some like in quant you get some seventy, in LRDI you get some ninety eight, you in in verbal you get some ninety eight. Now no calls, okay. So this is not a situation you want to be in, right? So first of all, always try to secure that ninety ninety five plus percentile in every paper. That is the best thing you should you should do, right? And try it. Okay, this is this you need to try basically. Fine. Okay, this is this the strategy you should follow, right? Now, what topics you should focus now more? Obviously, so you you see if you see uh, last year's trend. Okay, so arithmetic plus algebra, है ना? So make sure that in this last fifteen days, guys. Okay, in this last fifteen days, uh, you are solving every day. You are solving ten questions of arithmetic and ten questions of algebra. That means ten into fifteen, one fifty questions of arithmetic and one fifty questions of algebra. You are solving before the examination, right? And that is a that is a strategy, right? Basically, this is a very very good point because I know that in on twenty eight November my paper will be in every alternate question. I'll be saying arithmetic or algebra. Ah, huh. so why not be be in very good touch with it, right? In the last fifteen days, I have solved some three hundred questions of arithmetic plus algebra. That 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 means I'm in great practice, right? I'm not at all feeling rustic on the exam day, है ना? So arithmetic plus algebra, no specific topic, just solve all of that, right? Algebra comprises of like um, sequence series, function graphs, polynomials, logarithms, right? You study everything, quad equations, है ना? Just try to touch everything, right? Try to solve some one fifty questions in algebra in last fifteen days, and same with arithmetic. This will do the job, right? The second thing is now come to numbers plus geometry, okay? So numbers plus geometry, okay. Now this numbers plus geometry, obviously, just try to at least solve some five questions, है ना? Five questions from these topics also, okay. So five into fifteen, you're solving some seventy-five questions, हाँ. So again, this is also very very important, right? Because the geometry, if you crack, you're not going to miss any easy or more moderate questions in the paper, right? Okay. So this is what I will happen in numbers and geometry. So all those just divide all those panda in numbers, LCF, LCM, factors, factorials, है ना? Touch everything, right? Okay. Same in geometry, coordinate geometry, few questions from trigonometry, then coordinate geometry, 
ट्रिगो आई शुड राइट देन आई शुड राइट कॉर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री है ना देन आई शुड राइट ट्रैंगल्स देन सर्कल्स देन पॉलीगॉन्स है ना ट्राई टू टच ट्राई टू टच एवरीथिंग इन दिस पेपर है ना एंड देन यू कैन ऑल्सो सी पी एन सी प्रॉबिलिटी ओके सो पी एन सी प्रॉबिलिटी एट लीस्ट ट्राई टू रिवाइज ऑन माई रोधा वॉल लॉट ऑफ पी एन सी प्रॉबिलिटी इज देयर ओके सो इवन इफ यू नॉट पे अटेंशन अटेंशन टू दिस टॉपिक एट लीस्ट ट्राई टू कंप्लीट रिवाइज रिवाइज ऑल दी Uh, all my videos in the Roda that will make sure that you are not missing any easy and moderate question, है ना आप कोई easy and moderate question miss नहीं कर रहे हो that's fine, okay. Tough question we can miss out, we have margin no. Out of twenty four questions, around fifteen to sixteen question will fetch me ninety nine plus, okay. So we we can leave some eight seven eight questions in the exam, that's fine. So इसलिए tough question छोड़ सकते हैं right? But we can't leave any easy and moderate question. इसलिए that should be the quant strategy in the last fifteen days, correct? So just go like this, guys, and uh, attempt paper like this. You should feel uh, very good, okay, and you feel confident in the exam, and just try to decipher it, okay. The paper don't feel any, don't feel at all negative, no negativity. Ah, uh, in the last fifteen days, basically, what you need to do, cut down your circle, okay. It's very very important, right? Cut down your circle, cut down your friend circle, okay. So those friends who are talking negative, those friends who are not talking. पॉजिटिव टू यू ठीक है जस्ट नहीं बात ही नहीं करना भाई ये सब मेरे लाइफ लॉन्ग फ्रेंड नहीं है ठीक है तो क्यों रखना कैट के 15 डेज पहले इनको सो कट डाउन ऑल योर फ्रेंड सर्कल कट डाउन ऑल द पीपल हु आर टॉकिंग टू नेगेटिव ओके फील पॉजिटिव राइट फील पॉजिटिव एंड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट कैट इज वन ऑफ द फाइव एग्जाम्स यू आर गिविंग राइट द फाइव एग्जाम्स आर कैट जैट एन मैट आई आई एफ टी एंड स्नैप ओके दीज आर द फाइव ऑफ द बेस्ट एग्जाम्स एक्चुअली इफ यू क्लियर एनी वन any one exam you clear with great percentile right then you get that required kick kick start at the start of your career hai na you can think of those thing right like getting i can after 2 3 years i can get 1.5 lakh salary in and i can get to some good company or i can uh, whatever you want to do right okay so you can think about that once you miss out this this right then again the life is a bit life is a bit tough starting from 20 30 can ah uh, and starting from 1.5 lakh is a great difference right is a big difference that actually okay so just feel confident and uh, 